my friends how is everyone doing today man sorry it has been a crazy week all sorts of happens i got called into work this week too i feel so terrible one of my clients drove all the way down from tennessee to get tattooed by me we were here and cleaning alligator ponds my buddy josh finally came over huge huge help josh was one of my homies for years now um, he's got experience with animals and doing all this stuff. So he wants to come over. He actually wants to get his class two permit eventually. So he's going to come over here. He's going to help with the gators. He's going to help clean some snake cages. He's going to help do all sorts of stuff. It was hilarious. We were in the snake room oh, bro. and he got worked by these false Let's water go. filters. I'm going to put a couple of clips in here. For you guys. Oh, dude. It's so funny. Oh. And I was making a video. We were making a super fun video. He was here for a few hours, taking care of things, taking care of everything here. And then I got a phone call saying that my appointment is at the shop, ready to get tattooed. Just drove here from Tennessee from her birthday. I felt terrible, terrible, terrible. So I stopped at what we were doing, went to the shop, tattooed her, came out awesome. She got her cute little ferrets tattooed on her, it was great. But that is not what we are doing today. Figured I'd give you guys like a nice property update. I got some, uh, I got, we got a lot of new animals in here actually that I need to introduce to you guys and show you what we're gonna be doing with all of them. I'm really excited. Got tons of wood and all sorts of materials to build something tomorrow, which I'm also, of course, making a video for you guys. Um, another thing I really wanted to announce is, if you guys are watching this channel, all my new people, welcome, Tyler Nolan Tattoos, go follow me on all, this, all the things, okay? Make sure that you are subscribed to this channel, please. Just go check real quick for me and also i'm starting a subscription okay so you remember when i got demonetized that whole scenario i was demonetized for a couple months couldn't post anything it sucked it was terrible i went and did something else for a little bit on another platform okay and uh it just didn't really work out youtube doesn't like when you promote other things clearly so they push your videos down it just doesn't work out for anybody it sucks and it's a pain in the butt to keep up with but we are doing YouTube subscriptions now on here. So below the video in my description is gonna have a little little, uh, little instruction list on how you can subscribe to this channel. There's three tiers, one's like $3 a month, super easy. And I'm gonna post other things. So in between all these like really important videos and things with a lot of like substance, I'm gonna post like fun, stupid stuff now too, just like, daily life taking care of the animals um family stuff like we're just gonna do some fun stuff on there so if you want to go subscribe to this channel and help support your boy because we've got a lot of stuff to do here this building look at all these tracks right here i'm gonna show you that in just a second it's a lot of work over here so please support your boy go subscribe i'm gonna let the dogs out then i'm gonna show you what we got going on over here let's go crazies you guys are nuts all right so you can see we got all these things dug out so i had the electrician over here yesterday and he came by and we just we dug the trenches for all of the piping so this is all the electrical piping that we're going to be redoing now you can see on the bottom corner of the building it's going up into the building so we could put a nice fuse panel and power everything we're going to redo the power in that and redo that entire shed make it super cool and once that is done we're going to start demolishing this whole thing. Now, I need a... I've done a roof back in the day with my dad. And uh, it's not, like, the hardest thing in the world. And I'm pretty pretty savvy with uh, building things. So I think I'm just going to demolish this myself and with some homies. And uh, redo everything. Run all the electrical in here. And it'll be all nice and copacetic and super cool. Birds, how you doing? Hi, mama. Hello, my beautiful mama. Are you hungry? I'll get you some foods. Wanna give me some treats? I'll feed you guys. I'll feed the birds. And then I gotta feed the other things also and do some other things. I'm gonna show you. We got new animals and I'm really freaking excited. First, I'm gonna show you guys the inside of this building. Show you what we got going on here. Hector came over here last week. We've been working on this also. Booyah, check this out guys, get in there. So Hector put this wall in. So this is gonna be my office slash private tat area. This right here is gonna be where the fuse box goes. I still gotta finish a bunch of stuff, but look at this. Hector absolutely killed this wall. And this is a surprise. This we're doing something really, really rad with. And I can't wait to show you guys that eventually too. But this is how it's coming out so far. 
still have a lot to do in here. Like I gotta finish running all the electrical outlets in here, which hopefully I could do that in the next day or two. All the wiring for the lights up, get more lights. Um, and then I have to have somebody come out here and spray foam everything and then do the rest of the drywall with Hector. So it is a lot of work. It's slowly but surely getting there, guys. I can only do so much. I'm working with whatever I got, okay? It's hard and expensive. <laughs> Update on Took. He still hates my guts. Like, he will not let me touch him at all. But Took, of course, she loves me. Hey, stop picking on her I'm talking to dave lately from bird tricks also and i think they're supposed to be coming over soon so that'll be really cool maybe we can do a training session with him and see what happens i don't know i just gotta i gotta get some knowledge from them those guys are the greatest so i can't wait to have dave over here help me out with what i got you you are disgusting let me give you some food my love let me give me a pleasure all right come on come here hey See, that's what happens. Took goes to grab her and mess with her when I'm holding her, and then I get bit. I'm like a bystander. Don't, no, no, no. Do not, do not bite my watch. You cute bird. All right, you're hungry, so I'm gonna put you on here. Give you guys some food. Then we gotta go feed everything else. All the new animals. There's like 15 new animals, maybe more. I don't know. Yeah, it's, it's pretty awesome. We're getting there. This whole homesteading thing, I'm getting the hang of it. Sharon, hello, old girl. She's doing good. We gotta change out her water and her feed. Maybe she's got a uh, egg for me today. Let's see what we got in here. Oh, look at that. Thank you, Sharon. You're so generous, my lady. Very cool. So I'm gonna go put this in the fridge real quick. We're gonna get her feed and water container out of that chicken coop. And then I'm gonna show you the rest of my critters. I'm real excited. Check that out, all these eggs right here are just from this week from Sharon. Pretty crazy, at an egg or two a day at least. Hey, nice and clean, nice water and food. All right, you can notice there's another one here. Because look at what we got over here, guys. I'm so freaking pumped. Now, so these two silky chickens are the only ones that survived that first batch. They're so stinking cute though i am addicted to chickens guys it's it's a it's a real problem honestly it really is like all i do online is research about all these different kinds of chickens there's a million different kinds of colors sizes they lay different color eggs it's just freaking awesome i love it and their personalities are great like look at how awesome this little white one he likes being this one he she likes being held he's very good at like roosting up on my hand such an awesome little animal and how freaking cute is he like i love them guys not only that not only do we have chickens we got ducks too i got two little ducks in there that i'm gonna take out in just a second look how cute this little fluff ball is hi dude they're so freaking awesome i love them so adorable just look how fluffy these animals are look at that cute little freaking face i know i'm geeking out about chickens you guys are probably like tyler you're losing your marble but i'm not they're just so freaking cool. Like, look at this little guy. Hello, sir. How are you? All right, so let's get these guys back in here. I got to change out the bedding here a little bit. Probably like every like four or five days. They only poop on one end of it. So I'm just going to take all this bedding out and change that out. But first, I'm going to show you these ducks. Relax, relax, relax. Oh my goodness. Look how freaking cute these guys are. Hello. You guys are adorable. Oh. I don't even know what kind of ducks they are. I think they're runner ducks. We got them from Red Barn right here down the street. They were a quarter. We've had them for probably like three weeks now. They were a quarter of the size that they are right now. They're actually, they're getting huge. I'm feeding these guys the crumble. They love that. And then every, uh, and then for treats, I throw in mealworms, pieces of shrimp and all sorts of stuff. They absolutely love it. And that's what I got these kitty pools right here for. So eventually I'm gonna have a really nice setup for them outside. Put some kitty pools in there so that way they can have some enrichment in the water and be super super cute gianna actually gave the baby a bath the other night and put them in the bath with my daughter and it was the cutest freaking thing ever look at these adorable guys you are cute all right let's go see the rest of everybody okay i'll put you down in here i'm gonna clean you guys up so let's go inside and see the rest of the new animal oh and then look at what we have here hello predator this is the killer cat i'm just kidding she just likes to watch them. Look at all these little chicks. Oh my 
Goodness. All right, so the lighting is absolutely terrible inside my laundry room. So I'm just gonna grab a couple out at a time. So we got these Rhode Island red baby chicks. Insane cute. Now these guys are gonna get pretty big. I have red, okay? And they're just absolutely beautiful adults. And look how cute these little chickens are. They're very well mannered too. Like they're super chill when you take them out and hold them. They just sit there in your hand. So cute. And then we have my personal favorite. The only one that I actually named Oreo. As soon as he came out, I got so excited with him being black and white. But you see how he's doing this panting right here? He's closing his eyes and panting. Now I've read online that maybe it's too hot for him, but all the other chicks are totally fine. I have a little syringe. I give him water with a syringe and food with a syringe, trying to keep this little guy alive. Cause he's my favorite, honestly, this little black and white. I named him Oreo. He's just so cute, but look at him. He's just not doing great. So if you guys have any comments or any advice to give me down below, um, please comment down and help me out. Cause this little guy every day, today I woke up, I didn't even want to come in here and check. I was so bummed out. I just don't want this guy to, I don't want him to pass away. He's just so stinking cute. He's my favorite one. He's the only one that I actually named. He's so stinking cute. Well, I hope you pull through Oreo. And then we got Snooky and some other one. I forget what the heck Gianna named this other one, but these are black Jersey giants. Now these guys get huge. I think this one is too, right? Is this one? Yeah, I think they both are. This one's looking like it might be a rooster. This one's looking like it might be a hen because this one has like a weird nose on him. So maybe he's gonna grow up to be a boy. You might have to change his name. I'm not really sure. Comment down below. I don't really know a whole lot about chickens yet. I'm still learning. I watch videos on YouTube and I'm reading things online all day, all night. I'm just trying to absorb as much as I can. But I'm new to this, which is fun. It's a lot, it's a lot of fun for me and Gianna. We're learning as we go. But look how cute these little chicks are. So adorable. And now I'm gonna grab some silkies too and show you how they're looking. These are the baby silkies. Now this is Gianna's favorite right here. She's like, a, oh, excuse me. You're so squirmy. So this is Gianna's favorite right here. This little fluffy gray one, super cute. I forgot what she named, Hey Hey, or something like that. I don't know, all of them have names. I don't know how she remembers them. And then this little black guy, it looks like he's about to jump off. He doesn't have a name either, but just look at how stinking cute these little birds are. I love them. They're so cute. And I love watching them grow too. They're very energetic and playful. I'm so excited to have chickens. It's gonna be really fun, especially when my daughter is old enough to run around the chicken coop and chase them and grab them and help me help me collect eggs and all of that. It's gonna be so freaking fun with her. And then not to mention these little guys. So we also have these little quail. Look at how, oh my God, they, they're trying to fly already. Good thing that they're bouncy. Look at these little guys. They're so, oh my God, they're so crazy. Hey, can you come over here? I do not want you getting hurt, okay? Look at how cute these little quail are. I'm gonna get them back in here though, cause they're freaking dangerous. They try to fly right now. They're getting older and so their wings are developing and they're starting to try to jump out of the little, uh, the little brooder that I got them in right now. So we're gonna have to put a top on that soon or else we're gonna have quail flying around the house. And there's only three of these little guys. Now these are the guys that I ordered from Walmart. I got their eggs online from walmart.com. Weird, weird, weird. They shipped them to my house, put them in my mailbox and still out of 12 eggs, four of them hatched. One of them was kind of like a runt and didn't really, wasn't really doing so well right out the gate and actually passed away overnight. Not, not cool. But these guys, there's three of them that are super healthy and they survived. So I'm happy for that. Well, that is it guys. Just want to do an update, show you guys new animals and what is going on at the property with the building and all that stuff. Slowly but surely everything is coming together. I'm just feeding off some animals right now. I got a bunch of frozen thawed pinkies and stuff we're gonna throw in here for butters all right i'm just gonna put that there for him because he's being a little he's weird on camera still i don't want to startle him we're working on positive reinforcement over here so it's not very nice for us to stick a camera in his face all the time um so not only that got a lot of things going on josh the uh het black dragon who is a sexually mature het black dragon really cool um my friend austin actually has a female het, a female full black dragon ready to go so my buddy came over here the other day picked up josh and josh is over at his house right now it says we always like to try to introduce the male into the female's enclosure so he's going to be over with austin for a little bit and then maybe fingers crossed we will get some more het black dragons and maybe a couple black ones i don't know apparently he's 100 percent het so the possibility is there i'm gonna get to feeding everybody else over here got some more uh 
rodents to feed off. Gonna throw some to Onyx. And I'm gonna throw some to the new reptile that nobody knows about. Also, is right down there. Oh, that's all you get. You just get a quick little view of it. And uh, I will make a video on that soon. You don't even get to know the sex or anything. I have a surprise reptile that I'm looking at with my eyeballs right now that y'all don't even know about. So stay tuned for that. Stay tuned for the chicken coop. Um, I need to set up my reef tank still. So hopefully that'll get done soon. I just need some more time, guys. Everything takes time and money. And yeah, it's just, it's a lot. My buddy Jess is coming over tomorrow to help me film and do some stuff. So that's really cool. We got to move the chicken coop and clear out all this area right now. I'm going to get to that now. So I'm going to get to all of that. Appreciate y'all watching. Like I said, we're going to start doing subscriptions on here. If you are interested in being a member to Tyler Nolan Tattoos channel, please check it all out below in the description. See how to do that. TylerNolanTattoos.com for all of your merch. Please go get some cool stuff. Support your boy. I need it right now, okay? Appreciate you. Go watch the rest of my videos. Go like the shorts. Please go share these videos. If you're not subscribed, make sure you're subscribed. Like this video and comment down below on more things you want to see and how you think I'm doing. And just give me uh, just give me some positive words down there, guys. You know? It's fun. All right. Until next time. Love you. Later. God bless. Follow your dreams. Anything is possible if you put your mind to it. Work your butt off. Remember that, okay?